Welcome! In this short interactive animation, we will show how Maximilian, a fictional character, can have his company registered to do business in a foreign country, supported by an IT infrastructure that is built according to the federated architecture deployed by the top project. The animation will focus on the visual flow of information and the functions of top IT components. In Europe today, there are all sorts of administrative steps you may have to go through in order to interact as a citizen or as a business with public bodies in other countries for reasons related to cross-border mobility. Currently, if you try to do this, you will soon find out that it is not a completely digital procedure. It is often a complicated and time-consuming process, not to mention the stress, confusion and frustration it will cause you. It may involve requesting documents from public authorities in person, posting those documents, waiting for replies, turnaround times, translations, different rules and regulations in each country, and so on. In 2016, the European Commission funded the TOP project in order to solve these problems. TOP stands for the once-only principle. Maximilian is from Elonia, a fictional EU country. He is the CEO of ZZMAT Limited, an electronic equipment manufacturing business. ZZMAT wants to expand its operations to Fredonia, another fictional EU country. So Max, as its legal representative, must register the company using the e-services of the Fredonia online portal, a welcoming service for incoming businesses that operates under the Fredonia point of single contact. Maximilian visits Fridonia's relevant online service to start the process. Max must choose how he wants to identify himself and his country of origin. Max selects the EIDAS method. EIDAS provides the means for cross-border authentication using your national EID card. Using EIDAS, Max's request for identification is redirected to Elonia, where Max authenticates himself and his identity details are sent back to the Fredonia online service. The Fredonia online service pre-fills with his personal details the first section of a registration form that will be used to register ZZMAT for doing business in Fredonia. Now, further information about the company itself is required in order to complete the registration. The Fredonia online service is compliant with the once-only principle so it will try to pre-fill as much as possible of the rest of the form by digitally retrieving his company information through the top IT infrastructure. Max makes an explicit request to Fredonia Online to ask Elonia through top for the information that the country has in its business register about ZZMAT. When he clicks on the Get Company Info button, he sees which information will be requested and is given the option to provide his consent. So this is where the fun begins. To make it easier, we are representing data with boxes and the transmission messages with various vehicles. The boxes are color-coded to distinguish the data that they represent. Data in Fredonian semantics are colored blue and data in Elonian semantics are colored yellow. All requests and responses are transformed into the common top semantics represented by red boxes, in order for the country's online systems to communicate without the need to be aware of each other's internal complexities. The vehicles are also color-coded in a similar way to indicate which parts of the flow take place inside the existing Fredonian or Elonian infrastructure and which take place inside the top components that are introduced to ensure an interoperable end-to-end -end exchange. The Data Discovery module receives data from the transformed request and returns an address, which acts as the compass for where the requested information might be found. To make this a bit clearer, when we say data or information, we mean attributes, for example registration number, VAT number, legal status, etc., or documents, and so on. Now that we have the address and the top compliant request, we can go across borders to Elonia passing from the Fredonian e-delivery gateway to the Elonian e-delivery gateway. Now that we have arrived in Elonia, the top compliant request is transformed again, but this time into the Elonian semantics, so that local systems in that country can understand the content of the message. For example, in Fredonia, an attribute might be called legal status, 
while in Alonia it is called legal representative status. We have arrived where the compass pointed us, and from here on we no longer need the compass. The requested information is fetched from the local registries of Alonia. Now we have all the information we asked for, and we begin our journey back home. We need to make another stop in the data discovery module on the Elonian side to get the address of the Fredonian e-service to which we need to deliver Elonia's response. We now have all the information and the address, so we are heading back to Fredonia. We arrive in Fredonia with all the packages that we have picked up on the way. The Fredonia online e-service receives only the important packages, the original request it sent out, together with the Elonian data. The other packages have served their purpose, so they are discarded. In reality, this journey lasted just a few seconds, and Maximilian can swiftly proceed with his business registration in the Fredonia online service. The rest of the form is pre-filled after Max previews the information fetched from Elonia and explicitly accepts its use by Fredonia online. Maximilian knew from his prior experience that it is a complicated and time-consuming procedure to register in another country. Now, with everything being fully automated, he has completed his task rapidly and effortlessly. The registration procedure has been completed online, and his inbox will receive a confirmation email shortly. That was easy.